Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Stratagos Nick channel. I am Stratagos Nick, and today we are going to be continuing with our German campaign. Um, been playing around a bit with other nations. Um, because our German campaign is, uh, is sort of coming to a close, I feel like an another great nation to play would either be uh, France or Japan. I feel like th those two nations are really nice to play as, and the US as well. I mean, UK, Spain, Austria, Ottomans, eh, they're nice, but th they're, they're kind of like fading powers, and, and they're not going to really, you know, give... Uh, it's just not fun, really. You know, Spain falls out, Ottomans get destroyed by Russia and everyone else. Like, sure, they take back e the land that uh, Egypt had, but it's not really that great. Another nation we could see conceivably do is Sardinia Piedmont, but um, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sick still. But that's enough speculation, let us move on to the game. Okay, so where we left less off, last left off. Hmm. Okay, so there's no real wars. Oh yes, we wanted to go to war with Britain. Huh. Okay. I think we were just about to do that. Yes, we were just about to do that. So let's move into position, and let's declare war. Hold on a second, hold on a second. What's our true status with France? Do we have uh, 18... Oh, shoot, We're, we have to wait until France declares war on us again. Or else, you know what's going to happen? Is that um, France is just going to go to war with us when we're at war with Britain, and that's not going to be fun. Like, sure, like, we could, we could beat it, but uh, I'd still rather wait until, you know, we have, uh, you know, another truce with France. Okay, so we're gonna... Three, four... One, two, three... Uh, no Polish. Sorry, Polish. Uh, another engineer, a guard, and two dragoons. And that is a good setup. We may go to war with Austria, actually. We may want to steal away, uh, whatever from them. Uh, Bohemia. Actually, they're, they're allied with, uh, they're allied with Britain. So when we go to war with them to take back Heligoland, we may, we may in fact just, um, I don't know, take Bohemia. So we're all good there. Commerce, anything we can do? Oh, we have phenomology and, what is that? Hermeneu hermeneutic, hermeneutic, Hermen I don't know. I, I I do know a little bit about philosophy, but that that's just like I've never heard of that before. Phen phenomenology I have heard of, but uh, hermen hermeneutic I haven't. Uh, let us go gain. Sorry, I am. Uh, okay. Outer Houseland. Where is that? Okay. Uh, I'd rather have more ports, honestly. To be honest with you, I'd rather have more ports. Can we build any more ports? Let's let's see. We are currently expanding our ports. So no, not really. Where are they? They're uh, Sicily, Germany. They're allied. They're allied with us. They're at war with someone. Why are they at war with Britain? Oh, because of the Ottoman, uh, Ottoman liberation of West Macedonia, Macedonia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should... Hmm. Could have helped them out, but I don't think so. France, no. Their military is 233. They're going... Hmm. Crisis. That, that looks like an interesting... Oh. And they just passed it by. Passed it by, Jerry! Oh. oh look at our factories. They're doing pretty well, factory-wise. Hmm. Yamba States. I just want that. I want more coastline. That's all I want. That's all I need. Ironclad monitors, commerce radiators. Do we have more advanced? No, we don't have steel seamers. Okay. So we have that front filled out. We're gonna put a front up with Austria. Just in case. A small one. You know, just in case Austria gets a little lag. Mmm, we don't like you. Okay, we have more, more stuff. Minimum wage. Trinket minimum wage, yes. It may not do much, but why not? 
an immigrant attraction. We get that too. What is this? We can uh, Yoruba. Oh, it's the Yoruba states. I'm sorry, people from Yoruba, if I have pronounced your nation wrong. I don't even know if that's what the country's called anymore. Yoruban states. Probably hasn't been called that for a century or so. Hmm. Assert our position. Yeah. Uh, their beliefs must be respected. Yes, we must respect all beliefs because we are a pluralistic nation. Pluralism. What is this? Yeah, we'll gain that Casa Spelli on Morocco. And they're in the sphere of Great Britain again. Jeez. Britain's just, yeah. Someone needs to come there and kick them out of their high horse, you know? It's like, we're, we've had enough of British British domination. We, we are going to break out. And we're going to start off with denying them military access. We're going to remove their military access. Our first step to war has begun. Yes, you must leave our lands immediately. Uh, work smarter, because consciousness is kind of high. And I think all of our, our, all of our naval bases are finishing up. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Um, yeah. The Yoruba states. Still technically winning, but they're gonna... They're gonna outlast us, which is... which is sad. <sighs> Combustion engine. Hmm, <laughs> just waiting around. France. You know what we should do? We should justify... wait. Uh, we should justify our own war against them. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna justify war against Russia. We're going to liberate, liberate the country. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to liberate the country. Maybe the Ukraine, maybe Poland, probably the Ukraine. Yoruba states. Because yeah. we want them in our sphere of influence, the Ukraine. They have a lot of people there. If we go to the population density, that's their like, high, most densely populated area. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Kursk is now. Kiev is no longer... Oh, that's interesting. Oh, well, that's only Russian core. Well, don't worry. We'll release them, and they're still gonna ha have, like, lose a buttload of people. Combustion engine. And then we're gonna go to electricity. Um, yeah, we'll lose militancy. Even if it does give us a bit more of a conservative population, I don't mind that, really. Let's check their military might. 218 brigades. More than us, but... Oh, crap. Ah, oh, jeez. I know war justification is paused. That's that's okay. Ugh. Oh, pluralism. Oh, this is annoying. Just... Okay. Well, the good thing about this, uh, about the Russia, is that it's really big, so a lot of their stuff might be over here, you know, trying to fend off China. And if you look, they haven't gotten Vladivostok from the Chinese. Or from the Manchurians, I should say. So that's good. Um, limited citizenship. Okay. Okay, we're... Jingoism, yes. Jingoism is fun. Farming output. Oh, I love it. The German farming is really inefficient, so we need the we need a good farming output. Lasse's there. Bribes are the way forward, most definitely. Oh, this could get interesting. We're gonna join on their side. Yeah. National liberal, but we also get secret ballots. Yes, and we're completely filled on. This side, lovely. <laughs> and I don't think people will migrate so much from us now. Like, if we check immigration... Yeah, not many, only 28 are leaving. And it's actually going down. Because people love our nation so much, we have a really good uh, political system. But people are emigrating from Russia like nobody's business. We're technologically advanced, Russia's behind the curve, so they're just dawdling at this point. 
we could get more navy stuff, but... Oh, speaking of which... Dusseldorf. We need to get a steel factory in Dusseldorf. Oh, I just remembered that. Um, we're gonna change for one second over to this. And we're gonna, in Dusseldorf, we're gonna get a steel factory. And that will allow us to get Junkers, Hair, and Krupp. That decision. So we're just gonna leave everything. That, actually, no, we're gonna do. Oh wait, are we? At, oh, we're at war with <sighs> Budge Nuggets. Narcos's Bell Eye is gonna go bad. Oh, jeez, jeez, this is not fun at all. Ah, uh, stupid, stupid, stupid. Ugh. It's too late to do anything about it now. Oh well. Going here, going to Troy's, and we're gonna slow down. Okay, there we go. And let's see how it's going. So they have eight techs, we have twenty techs, so it just shows how fast we can cream them. And they are going to be creamed like corn, comrade. We're not even gonna mobilize, because mobilizing is just gonna be a waste of time at this point. It's just gonna be like, yeah, why bother? We're, we're pummeling them right now. We are pummeling them. Actually, know what we may be able to do is our war justification going. I think we... I think, oh, it got cancelled. And we spent the infamy on it. Great. Well, you know what we could do? We could... add a war goal, I think. Uh, yeah, our... Uh, jingoism is going up in this country. Yes, okay, we're gonna add a war goal. Uh, liberate a country... We're going to liberate the Ukraine. And there's better work. Don't want freaking Russia to be a problem. Actually, right after... This is good, because right after this war, we're going to go to war with, uh... Jura. We're going to go to war with, uh... Uh, England. Because then we'll have a truce with them. France, that is, and Russia, and I don't want them going to war with me when I'm at war with the UK. Brest-Litovsk. Look at that war score. It's just oh, awesome. Can we propose? Oh, we can't propose because you're not the leader of the whatever it is. Oh no 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 no! Oh, thank you. Okay, we're gonna get a mouse just in case something bad happens again. Are we being occupied anywhere? Yes, we are. Frickin' Africa. Oh, we don't care about Africa. Hey, Africa! Oh, we need to go there. We need to go there right now. <laughs> Let's see what their tech's at. 14 out of 30, 20 out of 30. Yeah, we are mm, winning. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Come on. Come on. Oh, uh, peace. Oh, we didn't liberate the Ukraine! No, are you serious? Are you serious? Mmm, and we can't even get back to the old party. <sighs> That's my annoyed tone of voice. I'm really annoyed. I'm rather annoyed, actually. Distinctly annoyed. Dick move, man, dick move. I'm not appreciating the fact that I made a war goal, and you didn't fulfill it. No, no, no. Can't fulfill Germany's war goals, because Germany never gets anything. Germany's is the child that gets kicked around, and everyone thinks that Germany's not cool, and I'll show them, I'll show them all! <laughs> I'm going to start by going to war with the UK. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, at the most climactic moment of phone call, Jesus, uh, okay. I didn't do much on the phone call, I just, uh, freaking, you know, did some housekeeping stuff. I invested railroads into some countries, but yes, that is it. We are going to war with France. Or not France, UK. Okay. Colombia, jerk, jerk. Yay, Sweden. 
Oh, we're, we're at Denmark. Freaking Denmark. Good Aberania now. Haha, <laughs> we still got there. Are we winning this battle? We won this battle. Wow. Wow, okay. Let's go off of here with the land. <laughs> battle of Cattle. Oh, the Austrians! Welcome to Germany! I don't know why that's a Russian accent, but. Welcome to Germany, ya yeah, Hans! Would you like some strudel? That is not racist, yeah? That almost sounds like freaking whatever. Uh, what? Uh, Swedish or something? I don't know. M maybe it's my Swedish roots. I don't know. We fought together in the last war, and now we're on the other side. It's, it's uh, traitorous. Traitorous scum. We should be able to propose peace now. No. <laughs> Why not? We um, we're winning. We are winning. Oh yeah, we're gonna trap that army in Aussie. Fuck no. And trap that army there. And then go there. There. Alright, uh, you're going there. Because we might lose. Okay, good. We didn't lose. Carlouche. Oh no, 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 no. This is bad. This is very bad. Uh, bad, bad, bad. Very, 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 very bad. Very, very enormously bad. How many people? Okay. Uh, you're going there. Hold out, please hold out. Come on, you can do it. Y yes. Oh, victory. That was nerve-wracking. Okay. Well then, I don't know why we were losing that so badly. We should be kicking their butts with no problem. Uh, what's that? Yes! Oh, victory is ours, comrades. Even though we're not comrades. Uh, that was... Uh, we have defeated Britain. We have defeated all of our enemies. All of our enemies stand defeated before us. And we laugh. With an evil laugh. We're gonna AP. Okay. Oh, that was a great, great short war. Just to kill them all. It's Nordheim, yeah. So, when we get that in Nordheim, we're gonna be able to get Junkers, Herr and Krupp, which will give us a, a better whatever it is. I don't know. The Yoruba state's fine. Withdrawal. It's clear we're not getting those colonies. Who cares? <laughs> uh, we might. You know, we should get some naval stuff while it's still cheap. Because the uh, the new national whatever the national focus is not going to be very lenient on navies. It's going to be excuse me. Basically, what it's going to do is it's going to make it harder to research naval stuff. But it'll give us more of a boost on industrial tax and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, Sweden's undergoing a rebellion. <laughs> How unfortunate. Unfortunate for them, yeah. Oh, well, let's see, what else should we... Oh, they're in Belgian sphere of influence. We should get Spain. We should get Spain. In fact... Uh, no, not Yunnan. Let's go there, let's put some railroads in there, some choo-choo trains. <laughs> and some in Portugal as well, why not? We don't want them to be a completely infrastructuralist nation. It's 1884, why don't you have any railroads? Japan had railroads by then. You, a European nation, do not have it. Sad. So sad. Wait, is Spain controlling Gibraltar? Are they at war? <laughs> yes, they are. Interesting, interesting. So even a better reason to get them in our sphere. And we are number one power! Did, 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 was that always like that? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we have only 179 troops. Uh, 5 to 4. We need no another artillery. South German, Kaiser Luton, Naval Professionalism, Spain. 
Oh, what else should we do? Let's get some investment banks. And with the once we research that, I feel like we're just gonna go. We're, I'm gonna go for today. I don't have much time. Yeah, let's do that. And then just drop these down. Drop tariffs down. Tax the poor, give to the rich. Hey, trickle down economics totally works. Oh, and we get Junker to support the broke family. That's what it is. And we get 5.75 prestige. We need expressionism and steel steamers. That's what that's what we should have gotten. <laughs> Only two techs away from expressionism, so not that bad. Yeah. Ah, I think this campaign is shaping up very nicely, in my opinion, very nicely. We may go to war with the United Kingdom and actually take some of their mainland from them, but um, I don't know. Russia is clearly not a threat anymore. Like they, uh, it, it, like they might possibly pose a threat, but I don't think so. Like, no. I still want to release the Ukraine with uh, the German technology. They shall become a forerunner in, in, in uh, economic prowess. Okay. 96.3%, that is great. Uh, Germany, how, we have 19 million people. 19 million adult males, actually. We have a much... How many people do we have? Ooh. 1,426 of lesser nation for other countries this month. Mostly to Brazil. Um, it's not that bad, but somewhere under... Diplomacy, you can see how many total population they have. I don't know where it is. Oh, yeah, here we go. 79.27 million. That's how many people we have in total. And that's a lot of people. Uh, so we get more culture tech, actually. We get culture tech research. But that, um, I think that's going to do it for today. I'm Stratagosnick. Comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.